Well, good evening and uh, welcome to this uh, little special devotional video. Um, wanted to record something, uh, not too long, but to be able to uh, give it out uh, during this week and give a little word of encouragement uh, by a devotional video to everyone. Um, I'm entitling this, uh, Is Your Heart Set? Um, if you have your Bible, go ahead and be turning, if you will, to Luke chapter 9, uh, and verse 51 is where we're going to be at. Luke 9, 51 says this, When the days drew near for him to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. This is obviously talking about Jesus Christ, and uh, it's a very interesting passage that we have here. Uh, because what this is talking about is Jesus setting his face, setting his heart to go to Jerusalem, and there is where he would die on the cross. Uh, there he would be betrayed. There the triumphal entry would occur. Uh, there is where everything would happen. But if you caught the reference, you might be thinking the same thing I did when reading this. Luke chapter 9 is not even over the halfway mark of the Gospel of Luke. Luke has 24 chapters. Uh, it is by far the biggest of all of the Gospels. I know Matthew has 28 chapters in it, uh, but Luke, within his chapters, they're absolutely massive. You'll see 70-some verses in each of those chapters. So here it is, Jesus... All the way back in Luke chapter 9, a lot of things are going to happen in, between Luke 9 and the cross towards the end of Luke's gospel. There's a lot of things that are going to go on uh, during then. But here it is, he said that he set his heart. He knew the days were drawing near, so he set his face to go to Jerusalem. He set within his life this desire and, you know, when I think about that, I have to think about our own lives. Because God has called each and every one of us to follow after Him. Jesus said, you know, if you want to follow me, deny yourself, take up your cross daily, and follow me. And, you know, there's a call on each and every one of our lives. So the question I have for you tonight is, is your heart set? You know, as we look at Jesus, and we look at this idea of him saying, you know what, my ultimate destiny, the, the place in which I am supposed to be, the purpose that I have in this world is in Jerusalem. It's upon the cross. It's dying for the sins of mankind. He knew where he was supposed to go. And I believe that we can look at Jesus' life and, and say some very simple things about uh, his life and what he knew that helped him to know where to set his face, where he needed to go. Uh, first, we can see that Jesus knew his Father. Uh, we look in all of the Gospel accounts, and Jesus is spending time in prayer. He had a close relationship with his Heavenly Father, so much so that the disciples even asked Jesus, Jesus, you are praying. You are praying passionately. You're praying unlike anybody else that we know. Can you please teach us how to pray like this? Teach us to, to have this type of prayer that we in our own lives might, might commune with our Heavenly Father in that way. And the thing that I think we can ask ourselves is, what's our relationship with God like? If you want to know the direction, if you want to know where you're supposed to set your heart and set your face to, we've got to have a close relationship with our Heavenly Father. But you know what else? Jesus also knew His purpose. Jesus knew His purpose all the way back when He was an adolescent, uh, when He departed from the group that was traveling away from Jerusalem. He, was, he, he went and He stole away into the temple and He was amazing, the scribes, that were there, and Mary and Joseph came, and they found him, and he said, listen, I've got to be about my father's business. Jesus knew 
his purpose that he had in this life. You know, I got a question. Do you know your purpose in this life? It might not be you know exactly what profession you're supposed to be, what job you're supposed to be in. But do you know your purpose in being a child of God? Do you know your purpose that you need to have in your local church? Do you know the job that, that God has called you to, the ministry that you have called to, been called to? You know, it might be that you're saying, you know what, I just don't know. Let me ask, are you looking? Are you looking? Jesus knew his purpose. Therefore, he knew where he needed to go. He set his face. He set his heart. He set his life. And he said, you know what? I have got to go to Jerusalem. Is that your heart right now? Do you have that passion in your life to serve God saying, you know what? God, you have given me a purpose in this life and I want to follow it with all of my heart, with all of my life. You know something else that, that Jesus knew that helped him to set his heart right, to set uh, his face to go to Jerusalem, was that he knew the goal. He knew the goal that God had for him. Jesus knew that his ultimate purpose was to die on the cross for the sins of mankind in obedience to his heavenly Father, to die and to be raised again, victorious over sin and over death, to be the Savior of all of mankind. He knew the goal. Therefore, he knew where his face had to be set. You know, as I think about our life, there's a lot of different aspects. If you're a mom or a dad, you have a goal to be a good parent. If you're a grandparent or a great-grandparent, you have a goal to want to be the very best grandparent you can possibly be. If you are working as a teacher or uh, a metal worker, if you are somebody that works in business, you have a goal to be the very best worker that you can be to the glory of God. Friends, do you know the goal that God has set for you in your life? One of those is to look as much like Jesus Christ as you possibly can to give more and more of your life over to Him. So friends, let me ask, is your heart set? Have you set your heart to say, Lord, I just want to run after you all of my days? Or have you gotten sidetracked by the many, many distractions that are in our life today? I would encourage you, even as we have a time of prayer now, to recommit your life, to recommit your heart. It could be that you haven't really set out to find a purpose in Christ. It could be that you don't have a set goal. Would you ask God to place that within your heart? Would you ask God to say, Lord, just show me where I'm going. Show me the purpose that you have, the work that you have for me in your kingdom that I might work for your honor and for your glory. Could be today that you're saying, you know what, I have not been as close to my Heavenly Father as I need to be. But right now I'm rededicating myself to that. I'm going to have that daily devotion. I'm going to have that time of prayer when I wake up in the morning, before I go to bed at night, when I'm about ready to eat my lunch. I'm going to spend that extra couple of minutes in prayer, lifting up the requests that have been mentioned that I know about, but also praying for the things that God has entrusted into my life. My family, my friends, my job, my health, all of those things. I'm just going to get a little bit closer to God through studying of the Word, through praying. And I hope that we would all be as Christ was, one that had hearts that had faces set towards the purpose, towards the goals that God has given us in our life. I pray that this has encouraged you today. Let's bow in a word of prayer as we close this little study. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for the example that Jesus set, that he had a heart to do the will that you had set out for him. And Father, I pray that we also would have that same heart, that we would have our lives, that we would have our faces, that we would have our hearts set on whatever goal that you have put before us, that we might be the absolute best Christians that you have called us to be, working for your honor and for your glory in all things. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. I hope you were encouraged by what we just discussed. I hope you'll have a great evening and a wonderful rest of the week.
May God richly bless you.